What's up guys? It's me again, Papa Ado, and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video guys, we will be discussing if worth it pa ba this 2020 ang iPhone XS Max. Just to give you a little background, iPhone XS Max was released last September 2018. It was a flagship phone by Apple last 2018. Titignan natin ngayon or i-review natin ngayon if worth it pa ba siyang bilhin this year. So, ang i-discuss ko lamang ay limang pillars of having a great smartphones. Lima lang guys. So, let's start with the build quality. So guys, yung titignan nyo guys, sobrang premium ng pagkakagawa dito sa iPhone XS Max. So, ayan guys, sobrang premium yan. So, glass back and front glass. So, it is uh, pareha silang Gorilla Glass. So, Ang Gorilla Glass ay isa sa mga glass na matibay. So, kahit mabagsak siya, hindi siya agad-agad na babasag. So, yun. Ang ano nga lang dito is, yung sobrang smooth nung back glass niya, kaya ano siya, uh, fingerprint magnet siya. So, ayan. Nakikita niyo naman ngayon sa video, bumabakat yung fingerprint ko. So, yan. So, kung ditignan nyo guys, sobrang luxurious niya tignan. Until now, this 2020 ha. Sobrang premium finish pa rin siya. And guys, yung weight pala ng iPhone XS Max is 208 grams. So, medyo may kabigatan siya, pero hindi naman siya yung sobrang bigat. Saktong-sakto lang. So, let's tackle the display of the iPhone XS Max. And yung display resolution niya is 458 ppi. So, ang meaning ng ppi is pixel per inch. Doon mo makikita if gano ka premium. So, 458 ppi is so massive. So, sobrang ganda nung display niya, guys. Meron itong super retina OLED display. So, may kita nyo, guys. Sobrang accurate, sobrang vibrant ng color niya, guys. Kahit sa ang angle mo tignan. Ganyan. Kahit ganyan siya, the color of the screen is still accurate, diba? So, doon. Sobrang ganda nung display ng iPhone XS Max. Lalong-lalo na kung mahilig ka mag-Netflix, manood ng mga Korean dramas, at manood ng mga vlogs ko. So, let's tackle the battery. So, yung battery niya is 3,174 mAh. So, sobrang tagal yung malobat. Superb yung battery life niya as in. If you are a normal user, browsing Facebook, texting, emails, and watching Netflix, um, umaabot siya ng more than a day. So, kapag heavy user ka naman, if naglalaro ko ng PUBG, Call of Duty, Mobile Legends is mga aabot siya ng 8 to 12 hours depende if data or wifi yung gamit mo. So when it comes to charging naman, kapag 20% na to, umaabot naman siya ng 1 hour mahigit kapag charge mo siya up to full charge. So sakto lang yung waiting time niya kapag nag-charge. So let's proceed with the camera. So iPhone XS Max has dual camera at the back. So May purpose to. So, yung unang uh, camera niya is for the wide photo. So, it is 12 megapixels. And yung sa baba naman, um, it, the purpose is for the telephoto and the portrait mode. So, it is also has 12 megapixels. For the front-facing camera, it has 7 megapixel that can shoot 4K videos lalo, and yung sa likod 4K videos with OIS or Optical Image Stabilization. So, pag nag-video kayo, hindi shaky yung video, parang sobrang stable niya. Yun. So, parang kala mo, nag-shoot ka gamit yung GoPro. So, ayun guys, parang matest natin yung pagiging OIS ng back camera ng iPhone XS Max. So, ayan. Ito yung vlogging setup ko. So, guys, kung mapapansin nyo, nililikot ko yung kamay ko, pero sobrang stable pa rin yan. So, kaya rin niya agad mag-focus ng subject. So, pag nilagay ko yung kamay ko, Diba guys? Sobrang bilis niya mag-focus. Para siyang DSLR na. Alisin mo, mag-focus siya sa iba. Alisin mo, maghahanap siya ng iba. Pag nawala talaga, naghahanap ng iba. Chos! So when it comes to photos, iPhone XS Max yung naunang magkaroon ng mga features ng portrait mode. Like for example, the studio lighting, contour lighting, and many more. I will show you the sample clips kung ano yung mga mode dun sa portrait niya when it comes to photography. So, natural light, meron tayong studio light, contour light, stage light, stage light mono, and high key light mono. So, there are 6 or 7 
modes of portrait mode. The modes of the portrait mode are very useful because it can help you achieve the DSLR-like focus na blurry effect siya. Sobrang naka-focus siya dun sa subject mo and sobrang blur nung background mo. It's like the DSLR na yung pagkakakuha dito sa iPhone XS Max. So, isa yun sa mga big improvement ng camera dito sa iPhone. So guys, don't be discouraged if nakita nyo 12 megapixel lang ang iPhone kasi ang sensor nila guys, sobrang ganda ng sensor nila, ng optics nila yun yung nagpapaganda ng quality ng pictures, wala siya sa pixel. Okay? I will be showing you samples of the portrait. So, magsushoot ako mamaya ng portrait ng tao and ng bagay. So, kasi it can detect person or objects. Pwede mo siyang gamitin as para ma-achieve yung bokeh effect nung gusto nyong Instagram feed. Let's proceed for the last part of the video which is the performance. iPhone XX Max has a 12 bionic chip. So, ito yung uh, personalized ng Apple kaya nagiging stable yung performance nila. So, kada year nagbabago yung chip na ginagamit sa bawat phones kasi ini-improve nila ito para maging stable at mas mabilis yung performance. So, sometimes it will be 2 times faster than the previous models. So, yun. And it is also has 4GB of RAM. And the CPU is hexa-core. So, if you are a gamer, guys, sobrang solid neto when it comes to gaming. Sobrang reliable niya, lalo na pag naglalaro kayo ng Mobile Legends. Kahit sabihin mo naka-ultra-high graphics pa kayo, hindi hindi siya maglalag dito sa iPhone XS Max. Sobrang smooth ng laro niya, kahit maglaro ka pa ng PUBG COD, sobrang smooth, wala kang magiging problema. And you can also use this if nagbumultitask ka, nagpi-Facebook ka, nag instagram ka, nagtatrabaho ka, lahat. Hindi ka magkakaroon ng problema sa performance niya. Sobrang stable at sobrang bilis ng phone na to. As in guys. Also, don't be discouraged if makita nyo yung specs niya na 4GB of RAM lang. Ang Apple, lahat ng apps nila is optimized para sa iPhone na to. So, ibig sabihin lahat ng games dito na try niya na walang problema. So, sobrang the best and superb nung performance ng iPhone XS Max. So, guys, kung if i-compare nyo to sa mga latest smartphones ngayon, kayang-kayang makipagsabay ng iPhone XS Max when it comes to performance and battery life, camera, and overall aspect of having a great smartphone. Kayang-kaya pa rin lumaban ni iPhone XS Max kahit 2 years old na siya. So, guys, to sum it up, if worth it pa rin bang bilhin ang iPhone XS Max or worth it pa rin bang mag-upgrade sa iPhone XS Max, this is my honest opinion, definitely yes. Because when it comes to performance, battery life, camera, display, and build quality, sobrang the best ng iPhone XS Max. Sobrang premium ng finish, yung camera niya, sobrang solid, yung battery niya lalo, sobrang kunat ng battery niya. And yung performance guys, kayang-kaya makipagsabayan sa mga bagong models ngayon. iPhone XS Max is still available in authorized sellers like Power Mac, Beyond the Box, and also Green Hill. So available siya sa Green Hill, second hand, and brand new. <laughs> so I will give my pros and cons for the iPhone XS Max this 2020. So unahin muna natin yung pros. So yung pros na itong iPhone XS Max is future ready smartphone. The display is still relevant for this year. The performance, the camera, and overall satisfaction guys. Sobrang sulit na itong iPhone XS Max. So, yan. So for the cons, if you are the person that is not much interested with the photography, performance, battery life, and you don't have the means yet in upgrading or buying a new smartphone, and I suggest na so stick na lang muna tayo sa current smartphone natin. So if you want guys na i-compare ko tong iPhone XS Max tsaka sa iPhone 10 ko, just comment below para gagawa natin siya ng banibagong content. So last tip from me is this. Upgrading isn't about having the latest smartphone. It is about having a better smartphone than your current one. If you like this video, please, 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 please don't forget to subscribe and click the bell button for the notifications for updated tayo sa mga bagong vlogs na in Bye-bye!